Hey everybody and welcome back to Recon Land. My name is Jules and we are playing EBF 5 again. Epic Battle Fantasy 5. I need to decide which of those I want to say. Maybe I'll just stick to saying both. We're starting a different room now to tell you two things. First thing, I did sadly not manage to find the, um, what's it called? The, the music box or whatever you want to call it. Uh, secondly, in this room over there, I think down where that plate is that we stop on with the magnetic boots, the one to the right. I think that's where the entrance to this room is that's right next to me with the two treasure chests. I want to get in there, but I think this only works when we have, once we have the, the boots. I went all the way around and tried to get in there. It didn't work, so it will probably only work from that spot. That would be the only explanation why there even is the, this option to stop there. But we need the magnetic boots first, so guys, if I forget to go there after we got the magnetic boots, you can slap the shit out of me, or just tell me in the comment section that I should remember to do so. Either way is fine. Thank you very much. And now let's continue. I just gotta click into the game for a second. That's, uh, oops, not the correct direction. Ah, no, of course, yeah. I completely lost track of where I need to go. We still didn't find a single CD in here. I'm wondering if I'm just blind or if there's a different reason why I'm not seeing them. Because, for example, they were not there yet. And yeah, this is where we saved last time because I wasn't sure if this was a fight. And it's a fight. Two goldfish and we have a new enemy coming up, but apparently not yet. Um, normal weather, but we increased, uh, decreased their accuracy again. I don't know if this is the spacesuit or whatever, this weird animation that just was there. Hmm. Anyway, goldfish are still very vulnerable to uh, winter damage which we can't deal with Matt nor can we deal any sort of dark damage with Matt so I guess we're using Encore but one thing after another Shadow Strike first that was almost good um, we can try to freeze this guy worked like a charm we could also Try the saw blade instead. Let's try the saw blade. I want to at one point use this death ability. I just want to see it in action. I'm not sure if it'll ever work though. I mean, this guy doesn't have any vulnerability, uh, any any resistance to it, so it could work. But it's still only a 10% chance. But then again, 10% is not that low if you think about it mathematically. Um, Shadow strike. And now once again, this decision between do we free someone or do we kill someone. And I'm actually doubting that we can even freeze this guy with, uh, kill this guy with just one frost arrow, so let's try it. We didn't freeze nor kill him. Whatever. Go home and be with your family, foe. You're not cut out for this. Yeah, or are we not cut out for this? I love the regeneration stuff. Still gonna use heal more, although I'm still sad that the whole sawblade thing didn't work. And now we go for Shadow Strike. Oof, that was closer than I would have liked it to be with that weird miss. Holy shit, that was some smash move. Launched me right out of the screen. Really did. If we can freeze this guy, Matt will at least regenerate. He didn't freeze. If we now get hit... Okay, that was closer than I would have liked it to be. Boom, he healed. Yay. Should we risk it? Should we risk it? Should we biscuit? Chewy biscuit. It's a chewy biscuit. I tried. Another Shadow Strike, or we could go for Sushi Cat. I think Sushi Cat is the way to go right now. It's not elemental damage. And we have two more ways to go, so I guess healing is important and I don't really want to use Refresh. Because I wouldn't know who to um, choose for it, so to say. Like who to heal with it. We froze the enemy. And now we can use heal more again. Paired with a bit of a Shadow Strike. And then another Frost Arrow. They're, these goldfishes are really not my favorite enemies. And if there are more in this fight, we may actually need to load the last safe and uh, switch Aroni our equipment and maybe even our skills in order to really deal some decent damage here. It cannot go on like this. Here's your saw blade. What's the smarter choice here? I guess the smarter choice is to heal Matt. Otherwise the enemies, like there would have been a new wave of enemies, they would have attacked us immediately. This way we're healed and we're only... Oh, this guy even surrendered. Even better. But for some reason, even though that guy surrendered... Son of a squirrel. What? How does that... Whatever. 
Well, technically a cat. I don't want to think about it, okay? Um, but yeah, the suicide bombers, they start the round. That seems fair. But at least we only have the cat sniper left now and we can easily kill it with a bio attack. And we have our good friend Anna for that. Ka-ching, mother frigger. Two yellow flybots and that's our new... Oh, it's like the Bubbler MX-03 or whatever it was called at the entrance. But this time it's the lightning version, so it's probably... Uh, a good idea to use water damage against that thing too. But whatever, let's start by killing the flybots with some water damage or water skills. Yep, that definitely works. And this guy even got the bad luck charm, which is really good. Now's not the time for a nap. You can rest later. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would call that a nap per se, but I guess it's time for nine lives already. Uh, what does bad luck do exactly? We never really use it that much. Um, it says quickly hits, accuracy, and foe catching. So I guess their bad luck means that we can catch it easier. We can't technically wait. We can catch the that thing. I just now realized that. Wow. Speeds up doom. Is this thing doom? Is it not death? Is it called doom? I guess so, and that means Doom doesn't insta-kill, but instead it just gives them a status effect that will say like in three rounds you're gonna be dead or something? That's how I expect it to be now. Uh, anyway, let's focus on this guy. Uh, we have two options, I say... Hello? There. Refresh. I always forget the symbol for refresh because I'm always looking for the, the old healing symbol. Magic defense up, not so good, but still okay. I'm glad that bomb damage is finally, finally dealing damage again. Like, actually dealing damage. Bubbly strike here. Awesome. Just awesome. Now a Typhoon. This guy seems a lot easier than the guy guarding the entrance. Maybe just because we are we have better skills for it. Sadly, the magic defense is kind of in our way. Can we... Should we analyze it? I was wondering if we can freeze it. Because if not, I definitely use the whirlpool. We're all at full HP. If we ever get a chance to do it, it's now. Let's scan him. Not sure if it's smart, but we are gonna do it. Ouch. As long as we spread out like this, it can't focus its machine guns on one of us. Uh, is there a way for us to not be spread out? Or does it just mean as long as we're multiple people? Defender MK3, the latest version of this line uh, in this line of killing machines. It uses very powerful thunder and bomb attacks. Resistance is key. I noticed that, like, that they're using strong attacks. I didn't notice that resistance is key per se. Um, heal more. I guess it's better to to go for refresh again, right? Because we really want to use the Typhoon, it's basically our most powerful attack against this guy. Actually, it's not that strong, but why isn't it? Probably because of the magic defense, but since when does that deal magic damage? This is also physical. Hmm. Meh, whatever. Yeah, this deals a lot more damage, I'd say. Uh, I shouldn't have tried to block that attack with my crotch. Ah! Ah, oh, dude, Matt, why? I didn't want to know that. As in, ouch. Thunder and ice damage taken. Yeah, 100% frost resistance. Uh, or, or yeah, 100% resistance to being frozen. So I guess we should stick to the whirlpool with Anna and not even try to freeze this guy. Uh, I'd like to decrease its magical resistance at some point. And this is a physical attack. With a high crit rate and 120 power, which is more than Rolex has. So why does it only deal 2.8k? Well, this one with only 110 power um, deals more damage. Hmm. I don't know. And also, I probably should have used heal more, but I was focused on comparing damage. Okay, that was better than expected. Is it resisting? Oh, yeah. 20% debuff resistance for everything. Maybe that's why this thing didn't work. It should have decreased its accuracy if I'm not mistaken. It has bad luck for seven more uh, seven more turns now, and we even got brave. What exactly made us have the brave status? Maybe it was a flare or something. I didn't quite notice it. Um, now, 
How do we go about it? What's the best plan? I say bubbly strike. And another typhoon. I don't want to... I don't want to risk too much here. So, healing. Then the whirlpool. He should survive the whirlpool. He did. Even though it was a crit. This guy will be pretty hard to catch, I'm assuming. Yeah, thought so. If it breaks out after just one wiggling, I guess we need a lot more status effects here. We could try to curse it. Maybe it'll survive. It is cursed. We are having rather high HP. It has even lower HP. If we're lucky, it works. If not, we'll kill it last uh, next round. We should still survive. Come on. Okay, it was wiggling twice now, so I guess it's better. Ah, I'm paralyzed. Don't leave me like this. Okay, she's stunned. She should still get XP because she's alive. So I guess we'll end this fight now because I don't know how to inflict more st negative status effects uh, without accidentally killing it. It, yeah, technically it is a robot, so it makes sense. Yeah. Come on, sushi cat death. Whoop, whoop. Boing, boing, boing. Beautiful. Maybe I can salvage a new hard drive from my computer. P2, yeah, we need one of those P2 things for some equipment, so great. And we got two level ups, one for Matt, one for Anna. Could have been worse. Are we still on epic difficulty? I'm pretty sure we are, but I'm actually wondering and I'm actually gonna look it up. Okay, with this thing being displayed, I was a bit scared that this was actually like a speedrun thing, but it's, yeah, normal stuff. Um, we are on epic, okay, just needed to check. You never know. And I did save. Yeah, I did save. I did save? I saved. I'm just gonna check my summons. Is there anything here that I want? Ooh, the Red Sheldon Cooper could actually be good because we have not so many things for wind damage. Um, I don't really want to give chill status to myself, but maybe there are occasions where it's useful. The Red Sex Bot is something we can get rid of because it's the same as the Blue Sex Bot or Blue Pie Bot, my bad. Um, but only hits one enemy. What else do we have here? Good luck to all of us. Neat. Could actually be great for capturing. So having it is a good start. I don't really want the deadly virus at all, so yeah. Uh, light status. Nah. Earthquake for five turns. Nah. It's all foes with strong bomb magic, which may stagger them. Staggering is nice, but still nope. Lance bigger doll. I can't remember capturing that. Must have been quite a while ago. Metal Teen Idol, of course. Uh, heavy status, yeah. Thunder Sprite, uh, bap. Wah. Electric Field, nope. Blast all enemies with a holy magic beam, which may uh, which may make them dry. I guess we're okay with this uh, equipment for now. Pathetic weak water attack on a single target. That is very cute, the water slide. That is super cool. One as a power, wow. And the green Cooper Koopa could also attack us, I guess, right? No, bounce into a target three times and choose a new target if the target dies. Doesn't hurt to have it in backup if we have something else we can get rid of for it. I guess this one with a power of five. Although we drastically debuff the foe's evasion and we may need that at some point. Mm. 330 power, 100% element earth. This one the same but less power. Ah, this one hit multiple enemies though. Makes the enemy tired. I guess it's not that important. Suicide ore. Is this not the one that we needed for an upgrade? I guess it's a similar one. Can we upgrade anything? Just check in. Doesn't look like we can. Nope. Was this always on page two? Hmm. Okay. I think I feel like every episode I'm wondering about these or every time I'm checking my flares I'm wondering about the earrings but always about different things about the earrings whatever more cells to open and some Nazis to fight and also how do we get here ah we need a ladder okay there's a CD we need six of those though what's down here they should lead back to the entrance oh it's one more door okay <laughs> more door 
Oh geez, it's a monolith. Stay away. Yeah, one of these landed on my island. It didn't seem to do very much. It's just a rock. No, 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 no. I've seen what they do. They corrupt every living thing around them. Their dark energy creeps in and causes aggression and violence. They have some hazard suits, apparently. Maybe the dark coats got a bit too close and they're being controlled by it? Is that what you mean? I think they're still to blame for their actions. The monoliths seem to have much greater effect on beasts than on humans. I think the dark coats have started farming them for resources. Hey, no legs. You're a beast, I think. Is the monolith affecting you? Mal? I guess that settles it. We need to shut down this operation. Um, okay. First of all, report 57. If we can harness the power of these mysterious rocks, we could potentially have an unlimited energy source in our hands. World domination would progress at an incredible pace. Our, te our technology would far outmatch any in the resistance. However, caution may be needed. Rumors have it that entire regiments have been wiped out by bursts of energy while probing some of these rocks. That's probably why they're wearing those suits. System upgrade in progress. Please do not shut on the computer. I know that feeling. Also, found it. I expected some heavy metal or something. Come on. Hmm. Not the epic music I was looking forward to. Also, is this a sex dungeon with that, um, let's just call it X here. Okay, either way, um, we got a treasure chest up here. We can't really see that because of me being in the way. There's a treasure chest behind me. <laughs> um, we have a treasure chest down here. For which we probably need to defeat this thing. Looks like a mixture between a rocket launcher and one of these machines we already fought. We also have this here, we have some more mirrors, and we have more CDs, and this stuff. Oh, we have to go away from all of this in order to... Wow. Okay, well, this is the... Easy part, I wanted to say, but it's not. Okay, we have to make... Okay, we have to do this actually in order. This is the only part that doesn't seem to matter too much. Now... I said we can go up here, 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 down, left and up. Okay, we did it. Sometimes it's easier than you think, sometimes it's not. <laughs> Let's get that treasure chest. We got another one of these P2 processors and a new flare, the Iron Cross. I totally want to wear that. Sure, that seems like a smart move. A war medal which offers protection, increased bomb stagger and confuse resistance. Is it gonna be good if we upgrade it? I mean, okay, it's just a flare, and for a flare, it's already doing quite some good things. So yeah, let's actually upgrade this a bit. We need silver plates. Okay, we can still equip it. Um, this resistance will be good for everybody. I say we equip it to uh, to no legs, because I don't think it really matters for now. It could help everybody. More importantly, I'm scared of these mirrors. Uh, that we need to defeat this mirror to get here, but I guess in order to get to the CD, never mind. That's a picture of a treasure chest, <laughs> but that's actually a treasure chest, so we need to defeat both mirrors in order to get to both treasure chests. Um, so for each, we need one mirror that we need to fight. So let's start with this one. I'm a bit scared of these mirrors, but let's see. We got two putrid worms to. I guess dark mirrors? We had these, uh, I don't know, holy mirrors or whatever in the side dungeon, the first one we played. I don't know what this thing is either, but it looks like they, these three at least, are vulnerable to holy damage. But only one way to know for sure. The question is, do I want to start by killing the putrid worms? I mean, they're attracting more of themselves, so I guess it may be a smart move to start by killing them. And they should be one hit. They're not though. Glad we talked about it. Log. Okay, staggered. This guy's poisoned, which is not good for us, by the way. Um, we can get rid of them with, for example, a lightning strike. But I guess I'm gonna go for the sacred strike because it can still kill these guys and it will... Okay, he's immediately going for that guy. That's not how I planned it to be. And there's another worm coming. Thank you. 
Maybe we should get rid of these other guys first and then deal with the worms. I'm really not sure. At least we only have that one. What the fuck? Wave. What? Nine lives. I wasn't planned to be this way. Jesus. Mother friggin' Christ. Um, we have the blast arrow, luckily. But uh, we can't have another attack with no legs unless we give him in core, which may actually be worth it. At the same time, I want to heal Anna, but she's the only one who can do that. Anna's gonna heal herself, which sucks because of her lightning, uh, her, her also sacred strike sort of thing that she had. And core four, I'd still say no legs. If you use the second strike, you should kill the putrid worm and then move over to the weakest enemy, which is that weird thing in the back, but it doesn't work. And now Anna is gonna die again. Or not? Well, apparently not. Better than I expected it to be. Brave status, always good to have. And the enemy's evasion is lowered. So is Anna's, but I guess we'll survive that part of the story. Um... We have this weird holy strike that we could try using. Or we should really get rid of the putrid worm first. Crit hit! Won't complain about that. Now, once again, the question, should we kill the enemies or should we identify them? I guess it's always worth it identifying the enemy. Even though it waits a turn. Let's see, what do we have here? Haunted mirror. Mirrors reflect things. This one reflects any magic damage it takes, so don't give what you can't take back, of course, but just magic damage, okay. Good to know. Uh, also, yeah, holy damage is definitely best. And here we got the Steel Wrath, a ghost which was once, ah, which was once a powerful warrior. It seeks challenges and will generally attack the healthiest looking player. So interesting though, it's a Steel Wrath, wherever it is steel and not just darkness, uh, maybe because Wrath already means that it's darkness related. Let's get rid of it either way. Bye bye, buddy. Okay, um, let's try to avoid attacking with Anna if she's even alive after this round, which she is. Boom. Uh, we're invisible. What's that mean again? You mean to all physical damage, but magical damage is doubled. Not so great. Sacred Strike is still physical. Okay, good. So we shouldn't be afflicted by the payback thingy thing. This guy siphoned, we may be able to catch him, but I'm not sure. Or capture him. Will I regret this? Nope. Nailed it, quite literally. Do I have a play on words here? Ah, uh, not really. I could say Haunted Mirror or... It's not even funny. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess we should refresh our own life. Oh wait, this guy's dealing magical damage and if he's hitting no legs we're pretty much fucked. But he didn't go for no legs, so it's fine. And there goes his accur accuracy. Now for another sacred strike. And once again, as I mentioned before, it could be worth it capturing people uh, or enemies multiple times, so why not? This one's just a haunt mirror. We did it! Time to get to the treasure chest, let's... Oh. Wait, what? Could I have avoided that fight? There actually was a treasure in this frame. Cool. A diamond. Can you use this to remove a single diamond block from the Forgotten Temple? Okay. I hope I will remember to do so once I get there, if I ever get there. I probably will. Ember, there's something very old trapped inside. We already had that before. And obviously there's another one here. Grapes for Anna's magic attack and magic defense. And some normal stuff. Here we go. Enjoy, Anna. And this episode was... Wait. Got some other treasure. I could have just pushed this to the left and... No, I can't push it to the left. Okay. That kind of seems like a good thing. Oh. There's actually more stuff hidden here than I thought. Maybe I should start uh, pressing space on everything again. For a second or a minute, I thought only if these things blinked, they'd give us something. Uh, next episode, we're going to start with these mirrors. Not sure if I'm going to look forward to it, but 
It's gonna be worth it for the treasure. These are new. Uh, they look like they're kind of bio-based mirrors. We're gonna see about the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching another episode of our epic battle fantasy five let's play. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm looking forward to soon fighting that monolith, although actually I'm pretty afraid of it, but it's probably gonna be another couple of episodes knowing the amount of battles I will fight before that because I wanna be prepared. So better fight one or two extra battles before that than fight them afterwards because, well, I like having those extra AP levels and maybe even gold, although we probably won't need that for the fight. Guys. Have a great day, great morning, great evening, and of course an awesome night, depending on what time it's for right now. And we're going to see each other in the next episode of our Apple Batic Fantasy 5 Let's Play. Didn't say that in a while. EBF, definitely that way it would be ABF, but whatever. 5. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs> Bye, everybody.